We have V-Bucks, 25 of them in the power level 15 zone in Stonewood. As everybody knows, this is definitely a tough mission. If you can get a group of people together, definitely go for it. 25 V-Bucks waiting for you. If you queue that mission while the rest of the video plays on, you might be uh, wrapped up with those V-Bucks before we're done. So there's nothing new in BR, to my knowledge, epic. Well, I'd never know anymore. There's nothing old. We do have some pretty decent missions, um, but uh, there's not a whole heck of a lot going on today. You know, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. All the llamas are in the shop, literally all of them. Uh, you might get something good. 400 extra tickets, not too bad. So maybe you load up your game, see if you got anything nice. Ventures, I don't know if somebody requested to join or not. I had to step away right when it hit shop time. So somebody might have requested, but as far as I can tell, Clax is awesome. And there's a lot of purple stuff. And uh, there's only like a couple of decent purple stuff at that <laughs> it's one of those days you guys one of those days but we do have some good stuff so in twine there we go we got stuff over here we got the 88 four player 4x reperk which is nice to see thrasher best smg in the game available in the 94 zone plus wall spikes which are uh, a useful enough trap shock trooper reduces uh shockwave cooldown i think it's like zero cooldown when you lose shield or something it's not a good ability uh 4x eye of the storm the 88 four player is he one of those or is that doppler i don't care i don't care i don't even i'm not even gonna look it up <laughs> <laughs> Floor spikes, whirling doom, two decent traps and weapon, two decent items in the game. Whirling doom is actually an okay melee, as I hear, and the floor spikes are, are pretty good for slowing enemies down. We have one legendary survivor available in the radar grid mission, so 20 minute mission. Man, it's one of those days. 4x reperk and 4x reperk of the 116 four players. We got that going for us, plus epic perk up, which is nice. Then we got 4x reperk in the 124 4-player, 4x perk up in the 124, and this is what I wanted to show. T Tiger Jaw, one of the best shotguns in the game, and the wall dynamo, great wall trap. So if you want to do some good damage to the enemies, that's a good one for it. And then we got double 4x lightning to bottle in the 132 4-player missions, so there's that. And the high zones, we got 4x perk up in a great death bomb death burst mission. Eye of the Storm and uh, schematic XP, 160s are... Lackluster, 5x Eye of the Storm in the Cat 4. My gosh. That's it for Twine. In Canny, we got the broadside. There we go. Great wall trap. Need everybody to listen up real close, all right? Look away. Look away from your side monitor. Here we go. So, broadside shoot cannonballs that bounce, people. Yes, they need a wall. They, they go back and forth. They bounce. If you have two broadsides facing each other, you are doing it right. The amount of people that don't know that. Uh, spread the word, people. Politely, please. You know, I hear people spreading the word politely, and then the kind of people who place that trap incorrectly just are either ignorant and or rude about it, and it's like, oi, fuck off. Like, okay, all right, just keep placing them wrong then. Sorry. <laughs> Llama Toga to the 58 zone. Uh, you know, get a free llama. <laughs> this day is just so oof. Campfire in the 58 zone, great healing trap, vacuum two backs, great melee. And then in Plankerton, the Neon Sniper. Actually pretty good if you're a low level player because it can see through walls. So that can be good for seeing where enemies are. If an enemy ever gets glitched on the wall, this is a great one. It's okay to hand off to defenders, although rather expensive to do so. And that's it. That's like the save the world wrap up i went slow and it still took three and a half minutes to get through all the worthwhile missions today i will comment since we got so much time here today on horde mode so i have observed the uh performance of my horde videos and the comments on them and i'm not highly motivated to do challenges two three four and five for low gravity uh that's not just you guys and i'm not i'm not um guilting you into clicking videos but it's also epic like look at this entire section i'm down to dailies here by the time we had grinded out the four challenges we had gotten all of the special rewards after the first mission i think there was like complete five horde modes or something that we got towards the end but it was odd to bust our ass grinding out five hours of horde mode to watch the rewards get less and less as we continued by the time we got to challenge five we were getting less tickets than our first run and i'm not counting quests there like what epic i'm not i'm not really a complainer i try not to be you know there's a lot to talk about in this world i do complain but i try not to i try to be fair at least when i do and I, I think Epic honestly listened to the community. They did give us almost, okay. 
they can't physically give the community everything the community asked for because the community is a lot of people but at least the common sentiment that i had my friends had people in my community had i know that's a biased outlook but i'm only me we were heard as far as the community we, we got what we wanted in horde all right that's what i'm trying to say here and the thing is there's no real incentive to go to challenge five i don't even know why one two three four exists i get the idea i think to try and force you to play the game but a reward at the end would be great it doesn't need to be a banner or an emote or something just more tickets would make sense for the effort i mean something i don't know and i i don't see that there and the community sentiment is is rather lackluster i i was really excited about horde still am but i'm still technically on break you guys it's not anything official or proper but i need to just refocus away from making videos every single day other than the daily and and with horde mode being what it is i uh, i don't know if i'm gonna do uh challenge five i'll definitely do every modifier once a week totally gonna do that that's no big deal but if you're gonna ask me to grind five hours of horde every week i want it to be worth while you know if the mode was super fun and the roars were shit and people loved it that's great um but yeah anyway so that's my take on horde that's what's going on i figured since we've got tons of time today i'd go ahead and, and share that with you guys um yeah shop like i said we got the apollo bundle here juby slide i was told that the side shuffle and juby slide were pretty much the same emote and then juby slide went away and came back it was just labeled new because epic really loves lying to me and now you can buy them both together for 100 v bucks extra so i guess that's something um I, I was not fully aware of that when i made the video but i don't even apologize anymore it is so hard to keep up with like either epic keep something um under wraps right up until it goes live so websites can't keep up or epic themselves is literally labeling an item new when it is not as somebody who just glances at the shop every day i'm not as integrated in br as as a lot of people are i literally cannot keep up with it i have spread more and more misinformation in these daily videos than ever before and i hate it because it's not me being wrong per se i'm just getting lied to and it's just when epic writes new in the shop the fact that i even have to question that is a problem on their end and i don't know the solution but thank you everybody who's using my code by the way if you guys did see anything in the shop you like and you want to pick it up with code mista sorry for such a complaining daily but i got gripes things are going on and i care about them and um horde mode's not even really a complaint i'm just saying lack of rewards and lack of view viewer sentiment means i'm not motivated to make videos on it that's just cut and dry i'm not even really complaining there i'm just giving feedback if epic watches these um yeah so anyway thank you everybody if you use my code i get five percent of your purchase in real life dollars that helps me uh ooh, is that a is that a legend of zelda switch right there mm, i was just thinking about that today somebody commented on my legend of zelda tears of the kingdom video on like the puzzle to solve it thing also a couple of non oh no did i read this wrong i think the top one confused me anyway thank you guys i, I was saying no oh these two oh another person pinged me thank you guys so much i appreciate it if you guys ever want to be featured on the channel just ping me in there and um yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go uh, get a haircut because I need it. And I have 13 minutes to get this public on YouTube as of recording. So I'm going to go do that quick.